All right. Welcome to Nail School. And uh, in today's episode, we are going to be working with the electric file. I'm going to be giving you guys an electric file class. I feel this is probably one of the most, if not the most important tool in your arsenal that you'll be working with. Um, the electric file that I work with is the Young Nails electric file. As you can see, this is my digital masterpiece. Um, the nice thing about this is that you can get up to 30,000 RPMs. You will never need to work with your e-file that fast. There's no need. The fastest you will ever work with your e-file is literally around here. That is max speed. But what I want to be able to show you is the speeds you'll be working at. Um, as you can see, it's in reverse. I need to make sure it's in forward. Um, I'll go over the functions of the electric file so you can see how it works. But in the beginning, when we're doing preparation, we're going to be working here. This is for prep. This is what you're going to be doing when you're prepping the natural nail. You'll be at 3000. Okay. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is, as you can see, the arrows are facing each other. We want to unclick it. It's going to come out. And we want to be able to work with an arbor band. Okay, now, here's the thing. If you cannot physically get this off, this just slid off, um, right? I just want to show you. Sometimes when they're really tight and you can't pull them off, uh, the easiest way to get them off is you can see the band is right here. You could use either a toenail clipper, as you can see, to peel that corner off. And that you will usually get it started where you can rip off a, a large amount and then you can see like if it breaks apart, then they're a lot easier to remove. But if you're getting them on, make sure the mandrel is all the way in. You can get it all the way down. And if you can't physically push it all the way in, turn it upside down and then turn it. And that way you can get it on just like that. Now, this is going to be used to prep the natural nail. So what we're going to do going back to our e-file, I'm gonna turn it on, right? And then you can see that the barrel is moving, okay? So, and it's moving in one direction. So I'm working in forward because I'm right-handed. If you were left-handed, you would be working in reverse. <laughs> okay, so holding the electric file, you're not gonna be holding it like this. You're not gonna be holding it like this. You're going to be holding it as though you're holding a pen, right? So if I'm, again, if I'm writing, right, if I'm writing whatever I'm writing, I, I have control. You can see I'm resting the pen inside, right, the, the basically the crease of my hand. It's the same thing with your e-file. You're doing the same thing. So if I am removing shine from the surface of the natural nail, you'll also notice for me to have good balance, okay, whether you're holding the hand in this position or you're using an overgrip position, I need to put it in a position where I can balance my finger and I can work in one direction, okay? So what I mean by one direction, if this is the nail, okay, if this is the nail, I'm not going side to side, right? I don't want to move this way, right? I don't want to go this way. If I'm going this way, then the barrel has a tendency, especially when it's moving at higher speeds, to slip around the finger. I want to be able to use zone one of my barrel. So I'll break the barrel down. If this is the barrel that you're working with, I need to work with zone one. You have zone one, you have zone two, you have zone three, okay? So if I have good balance with my electric file, and again, I'm holding right the hand either this way or this way, okay? We're not gonna get into too much detail on <clears throat> how to hold the hand. There are advanced techniques, but even if you're holding the hand in this position, you're going to notice that I'm able to use zone one to lightly go around the perimeter of the nail. Then what I can do, you're gonna notice, I'll draw on here. 
I'm going to be working in this direction. Okay, see the arrow? So if I was going to use the barrel, I'm starting with zone one, watch this. If I am tickling away lightly and the pressure that I'm using, it's like the inside of my wrist, I wanna tickle, right? I don't want it to be aggressive. If I'm tickling away the shine, notice that I'm working this way, tickle, 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 all the way down to the corner, right? So again, I'm moving in one direction. I'm literally picking it up, and I'm, if, if it's in slow motion, I'm almost kicking this. I'm using a light feathering motion as I am working, right? light feathering motion as I'm working from corner to corner. So if I needed to do work around the perimeter, I could do it two ways. I could use zone one of my barrel. I could turn the hand to the side. I could tickle away the shine this way, or I could use zone three and I could turn the finger this way and I, and I can pull towards myself in one direction. Just light, light motion. If I needed to get close, right, in this direction, light, there's no way I'm going to be able to remove shine this way. This doesn't do anything. All this does, if you're going from side to side, it creates a lot of friction, and this is where the customer gets uncomfortable. So what we want to be able to do, let's break this down into, into multiple levels when you're prepping. If I'm prepping around the natural nail, Right? Even if it was my own natural nail, if I'm going around the cuticle area, I need to lightly, again, lightly remove shine around the perimeter. And you'll notice if I'm going around the perimeter, like this is not, I can run this on my skin. I'm not going to cut anything, right? Look at that. There's no cutting because there's no sharp edge. So if I'm running around the perimeter of my nail, it's going to be very easy for me to remove shine around the perimeter. And again, you want to be able to use zone one, and it's a very light touch. If you have balance with your pinky here, you're going to be able to remove shine around the perimeter, right? And again, take your time. Don't need to rush. Get around, clean that up. Now, if I'm tickling away using a light feathering motion, Notice that I'm able to work from corner to corner, from corner to corner, without the barrel slipping. I'm pulling in one direction. I'm using a feathering motion. For those of you guys that are learning how to use your electric file, you can even take the bottom of your thumb and you can feel a light feathering motion. That's the same feathering motion that I'm using a lot of the time when I'm using prep work. You're going to be you're gonna be using this kind of feathering motion when you're working through, okay? So a lot of my students, when they're beginning, you have to have good balance. You're never going to be able to do this. Like I see a lot of people try to, try to do, they, they, they keep it, they think, okay, I'm gonna turn this up to this speed and then I'm gonna hold it here and go like this and then they end up putting these really jagged lines or they end up doing damage to the natural nail. You don't do that. You go low, you go gentle. You wanna go gentle so that the amount of pressure, again, if you feel on the inside of your wrist, this is a very gentle motion. It's the same, right? It's the same grit as using a medium, right? hand file as you're removing shine from the surface of the nail. So this is what you're going to be using for prep. Now, an easy way to remove the sanding bands, there's another way. You could take the bottom of your brush, you can hold it here, you can hold pressure, and then slide this up. See that? Slide it up by putting pressure. It slides onto the back of the brush. And then you could choose, again, to slide as far as you physically can. And if you cannot do that, do not make space. Make sure the mandrel is all the way down so that when you turn this piece upside down and you press it, you're gonna be able to get that. Okay, so that's for prep. Now, let's say you build acrylic out, okay? This is the nail we did a few days ago. Okay, so I'm obviously, right, going to get my sides completely straight. You're always going to get this into perfection, right? So once I have 
right, my perimeter, once I have my perimeter shaped out, which I'm just gonna do really fast, right? My sidewalls are dead straight. I tapered my free edge. I made sure that my sidewalls are straight. We have to be able to shape this in the least amount of effort. So your electric file, I don't want you guys to sit here and hand file and hand file and hand file. You're going to be doing a lot of basically repetitive motion in your wrists. It's going to create a lot of issues with your shoulder, your back. For those of you guys that are getting into nails, you have to remember that um, the, the whole purpose of using this, your electric file is designed to basically prolong your career as a nail technician. Less stress on your wrists and hands. It's going to give you the ability to basically have a beautiful career doing nails. Okay, so again, we're gonna take this off. Now, I'm going to work with, again, a safety bit. Why? Uh, it's bald. So you can see in my bit kit here, we have really, really sharp bits. This, again, is great if you're cutting in smile lines. This is the bit we used in the beginning. Uh, but then when we you know, designed and invented the safety bit, we wanted to make sure that we had a feature that was not going to cut. So the speed I'm going to be working at, let's turn back to the electric file. I'm going to get this right? Let's just start off with 12,000 RPMs, okay? I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, right? So we have that on. Go ahead and turn that on. And again, I have great balance, right? I have great balance. If, if you notice from, a, from an angle, I'm going to go ahead and put this out to the side like this, right? Right? You're going to notice if I have my client, right? My hands, I'm always trying to work in a position where my hands are on resting on a table. I don't want it lifted up like this. I need them down on the table so I have great balance. So if I'm looking at the side profile, you can see, now I'm gonna say with length, one of the things you can do, I can stop my electric file just by pushing on. I need a little bit of space on my barrel. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this slightly out just like that. That way the nose doesn't hit the body as I'm working. So if I turn this on again, I have an overgrip position. I can see the upper arch. So as I'm filing my upper arch, I'm starting with zone one and I'm working down the barrel of the nail. Now, what does that look like close up? Take a look, okay? So you'll notice if I'm holding again, the hand from the side, take a look right here, right? You see that how that arch is? And I'm starting only in the middle. I want to be able, again, zone one, as I'm working down the barrel, pulling in one direction towards myself, I'm going to be able to work all the way down to zone three of my, zone one, zone two, zone three. Check this out, zone one, zone two, zone three. I'm not starting from the side and bringing it over the top. I'm staying within the middle so that I could create that beautiful shape. Now, if I was looking down the barrel of the nail, you can see the bulk. This is beautiful, right? Because you can see the thickness here and you can see the thickness here. So the goal is to try to make the nail even from side to side. Again, look, my finger is balanced here. I'm not gonna move, I have stability. If I'm working with my barrel, zone three, look at this, all I have to do is pull in one direction towards myself. I can put pressure. I can literally shape this side of the barrel so that I'm actually able to make that even from side to side. You can see the bulk, right? But I'm only focusing on the free edge. So I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. Working zone two, working zone three, all the way through, right? In one direction. I'm not, again, I'm not going side to side. I'm going in one direction towards myself. Holding the finger like this, and again, like, 
you're not, I see a lot of beginners. They have been going to the salon. They've been seeing basically an experienced nail technicians work with an e-file and they think, they think like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to file through the surface. You're never going to be able to get this reduced and shaped properly if you just hack from side to side. You have to be able to look down the barrel of the nail, see the C-curve and say, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get that dead even, how am I going to get that even? Well, if I work in one direction, first of all, I'm never going to slip and then I'm gonna be able to look down the barrel and I'm gonna be able to shape pretty much that whole tip really well without the barrel slipping. Okay, so we did the upper arch, we did the free edge, and then if you look at the cuticle area, so no difference than when you're actually using, I'm not using this to reduce bulk from the surface. If you're using this to reduce bulk from the surface, you're going to create a lot of heat. There's too much friction involved. It is basically scratching the surface instead of cutting at the surface of the acrylic. I wanna work in one direction. I'm going to start from this point, work all the way around. Am I going side to side? No. I want to work in one direction, one direction, one direction towards myself, reducing bulk. Again, f f well balanced as I'm coming through. Well balanced as I'm coming through. So I reduce all that bulk around the perimeter. What it leaves me with is basically two areas that all you have to do at this point is come in one direction from cuticle to free edge and you're able to reduce all the thickness again so that it leaves you with the least amount of hand filing the least right i have a tight cuticle area i'm able to go around very easy removing again bulk the goal is to try to create a very flush cuticle area so that you don't have ledges, right? The rest of the body, if you were to break this nail into two sections, right? I'm gonna split this down the middle. If we were to split this down the middle, if I held my hand file in this position and all I did was come down one side, look at this, I'm just gonna stay on this side. All the bulk has been, you can see as I'm moving down this, all of the scratches are diagonal, but as you can see, everything is tapering. If you're looking down the barrel, everything is tapering down toward this area, making it beautiful, right? So I'm, I'm, again, focusing on one area. I see a lot of beginners try to hold their hand files on their side and do this. This is not how you're, what are you like? Are you trying to start a fire on the nail? Dude, that's not how you do it, right? You're going to struggle and you're literally gonna have crazy repetitive motion. Hold the hand file on top use the whole entire surface, use your wrist. It's a lot easier for you to use the whole surface of the file if you are coming down. Look, you can feel as I'm coming down that way. Now, for this side, if I held the file like this with my finger on top, I could take advantage of the whole entire surface by going pressure into the nail, let it fall. Pressure, fall. Like so, don't pick down, go into the nail down, into the nail down. So what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone. You're able to go through and blend away without this picking motion, in, down, in, down, in, down. And then last but not least, right? But I was looking at that. You're going to notice that what you would have to do at this point is you want to be able to look down the barrel, the nail, right? So it's like, okay, that side's a little bit lower than this side. So what I'm going to have to do is just really kind of straighten this out to make sure that this is all even from side to side. Then I would look down the barrel, the nail. I'm going to make a peace sign. I'm going to rest the file inside my knuckles. I'm going to rest it on this with my thumb. I'm going to rest it on the surface. 
And then what I'm going to be able to do is just keep contact really with the free edge, the front end of the nail to make sure that I'm able to blend the tip absolutely flawless from side to side, right? And that's what we want to be able to do. Okay, so the same. It doesn't matter if you're working with the square shape or you're working with this shape. It's really controlling your electric file is all based, again, on knowing how to hold it, knowing what speed to work at. For those of you guys that are starting, you don't even have to start that fast. Go ahead and start off at 10,000. Turn that on, right? Get a feel for it. And what I mean by that is look at the side right here. If you feel uncomfortable going in this direction here, then start off with the cuticle area. So go around the perimeter, just take the bulk. Don't try to blend it flush with the e-file. Reduce the bulk so it sets you up to file around the perimeter with ease. So I'm using this to reduce bulk. If I'm looking down the barrel of the nail, I wanna be able to look down the barrel of the nail to blend this as even as I can from side to side. I'm not concerned about my edges here because all that can file. You can just come down and just kind of file away. Even here, if you decide that you want to be able to file away your edges instead of using your hand file, you'll be able to use your electric file. And I'm coming in one direction as I go. Right? This is not going to cut. I could run this on my skin all day long and nothing is going to happen. Right? Getting used to using the barrel, right? the zones of the barrel, to pull in one direction. This right here, this drill, holding it over the top, looking down the barrel of the nail, positioning your pinky in this position, working in one direction. Put pressure. Put pressure as you move. If you're feeling a lot of pressure, for those of you guys that hold the hand right here and you're using a Darth Vader death grip, you can see I'm like flexing. Look at this. Like it has a... Like, I don't want to see a muscular friggin' pose. While, like, if you're holding your client with this Darth Vader death grip all day, it's literally going to hurt. So you need to release the tension. Release the tension in your hand. Let it relax. Relax, right? Let the thumb relax. Pull in one direction. I want you to use the tension by pulling here, right? You're going to be using a lot of the force around here. If you go around the cuticle, right, if you get your free edge tight and then you come through the body, take a look at the side, right? If you notice that there are certain parts that need to be basically detailed, then by looking at the side, what you'll be able to do is come through and just refine whatever that area is, you know? And then again, you can do your electric filing. This one I hand filed first. This one I did my electric filing first. So here, like for me, because I took down most of the bulk, uh, to reduce a lot of the thickness around the side is going to be very, very easy because I don't have a lot of product to basically remove. But once that's actually taken down, then you're going to go through the same steps of blending the cuticle. Remember again, general rule of thumb, if your finger gets stuck around the cuticle area, if it gets stuck, it's going to lift. It has to be seamless. It has to be flush to the natural nail, right? But look, again, application means everything because it's going to be less filing. Remember, divide it into two sections, file down, Right, I'm coming down, right, using the whole hand file. This side here, for those of you guys who are practicing, um, you can see how my hand file is laying across my palm. I want to be able to keep it in this position so I have that much surface area to work with. Contact going into the nail, let it fall. Contact, fall. Contact, it's connected. Look at this. Connected, connected, connected. It's not pick, 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 connected, connected. And you'll notice as I work quick, right? As you start to build your skills. Remember we were talking about this morning on Twitch, right? The key for you to be able to build success doing this is to master the basics, the fundamentals. It's not, you know, being a black belt in martial arts, is not about knowing all the techniques. It's about being a master of the 
basic techniques, being a black belt of the basics, the fundamentals. These are the fundamentals. Even when it's, again, your electric file, the way you hold it, the way you work, the actual guide, how you do your cuticle area, how you do the thickness at the tip, how you reduce bulk around the sides so that you're able to maintain perfection through the nail when you're filing. And it's going to set you up so that when you're hand filing all the way through, right, you're going to be able to transform something that might look bulky into a work of art when it comes to finishing, right? And that's what I want to be able to teach you guys. Um, for those of you who are addicted uh, to learning the, the art of nails, um, I am here to teach you strong fundam fundamentals so that you become, again, a nail ninja with, right, great fundamentals, you master the, 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 the fundamentals, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to shape with perfection. You're going to be able to create works of art, again, no matter what powders you work with. Okay? All right. So, um, appreciate you guys. Any questions, hit us up. We're always here to help. Uh, contact us at 1-800-777-9170. You guys can go to Young Nails Inc. on YouTube. Thousands of videos for you guys to review. Uh, also, uh, tune, tune in all platforms, Instagram, everything. It, w there's an unlimited amount of resources for you guys to learn how to take your career to another level. Thank you guys for your time. Appreciate you much. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.